So when I first went there, uh, the Zimbabwe Harare mission was Zimbabwe, Zambia, and Malawi. Um, and I was there, and then six months after I arrived, they split the mission. So all the missionaries in Zimbabwe stayed there, and all the missionaries in Zambia and Malawi became the Zambia Lusaka mission. Um, when I first got there, there was maybe a hundred and maybe a little bit more than that of missionaries. When they split, it went down a lot. But over the next few months, it, it got back up to 100. I think they were aiming for 150 with the addition of so many missionaries in the field. Um, in the past, it used to be just part of the like Africa Southeast mission. Like uh, President Dubé, my mission president, he served in that mission. Um, he actually served in some of the same places that I did. And uh, he uh, ba back then, the mission was, was gigantic and very few missionaries. Um, there are several people there that had a huge impact on whether or not um, the the church could be successful there. Um, uh, the Neilds are, are a really kind of well known family with uh, with the members and and even with the government because he used to be a rugby star, and uh, so he would help them um, when the church was getting uh, was getting started. He was uh, a good influence with. Uh, the government to help make sure that everything was okay with you know that everybody was oh was all right with um the church's growth and that nobody was um you know uh, rubbing shoulders too tightly with uh, you know causing problems um started out as you know little districts little branches not uh, very many members at all um and then at some point it started to grow and the missionaries started to come in and uh, when I was there, there was a stake in Bulawayo. There was, I think the stake was created in Gueru while I was there. Um, when I was in Bindura, it became a district. Um, and they organized district presidencies in, uh, in there. And there was a district in Mutari. There's, there was two stakes in Harare. I know now that they've split at least once, both in Bulawayo and Harare. So there's two more stakes since I was there, um, at least. And, and it, it's one of the fastest growing missions in the world. Um, there were, uh, I mean, it, it seemed like every state conference that you went to, they were announcing splitting off another branch or another ward, or um, it was it, it was growing like crazy. Um, president Dubé used to be uh, a state president there, and then. Uh, he is he's now a member of the 70 um and so was president makasi he was in bulawayo he was uh in charge of the ces program and then he was the state president and now i think he's in area 70 as well um and so uh we would have we had an elder elder cook came and and uh i remember him telling us that he from what he's seen you know the the some of the men that are in zimbabwe some of the priesthood leaders are um a really, I guess he was just impressed with how dedicated they were to helping the growth of the church there. Um, and that's, that's true. I mean, missionaries there, you can ask the branch president and they'll go and track with you. People are very willing to help you with the church. Um, I think there were, you know, I'd give you numbers, but it's been, it's been a while. So I'm not sure I remember exactly how many stakes or, or members, um, 